Good morning everybody, my name is Wes Davies and actually this is going to be the first video of a new video series that I'm working on where I travel all around Taiwan exploring Taiwan's incredible agricultural industry. So as you might know, Taiwan is well known all around the world for its advanced technology production. But what a lot of people might not know is that its agricultural industry has actually been taking advantage of new advances in technology as well. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but back home in Canada, I actually grew up on a farm way, way out in the middle of nowhere, so I feel very comfortable in environments like this. And actually, in this greenhouse that you can see here, they are growing bok choy, which is one of my favorite vegetables, although I don't think I've ever eaten it raw, so I'm just going to give one of these a try. Mm, very sweet, very delicious, so fresh, that's awesome. Do you want some? Oh, no thank you, I eat it every day. I, I just wanted to ask you, because when I grew up on the farm, yeah. I always had to help my dad with chores and jobs around the farm. Do you need help with anything today? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so what, what am I going to help you with? Today we need to put some thin film on the soil. Oh, yeah. to cover the soil? Yes, to pretend the weed not grow up. Okay, yeah. so plastic? No, it's not plastic. We use biodegradable film. Alright, I'd love to help with that. How do we get started? Let's go get the film. Okay, let's go. So we are here with this huge roll of this biodegradable agricultural film. And I'm just so curious about this. It's actually really quite heavy. Very heavy. You must be quite strong. <laughs> no. So once you put this down on the soil, yes. how long before it starts to compost into the ground? Uh, maybe six months later. Oh, six months. And you will turn to a small pieces. Okay. And later and you will degrade and, uh, and disappear. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't harm the plants or the soil at no, all? I think it's not effect to the soil and plants. Oh wow, yeah. that's great. So in the past, you would use plastic? Yeah. And now you've transitioned into this? Yes, because the plastic is it's not easy to uh, break down. To break down. Mm -hmm. And maybe it will, some pieces will inside the soil. Okay. Yeah. So in the, in the past, what did you do with the plastic when you were finished with it? Mm, we throw to the garbage car, yeah, or maybe uh, burn it. <laughs> burn it. Okay. Some people will burn it. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's really not good for the environment. Yes. Mm. So this this is actually a, a really amazing new technology. Yes. Yes. It feels a little bit like plastic. Yeah. But you can tell it's not plastic because it's made of uh, plant ingredients. So what are you going to plant here? We're going to plant zucchini here. Zucchini. Zucchini. Ooh, yeah. that zucchini. sounds great. So I think really what I'm seeing is lately, maybe within the last five or ten years or so, there's mm. been a real transition into organic farming, yes. biodegradable materials, mm -hmm. uh, eco-friendly agricultural practices, that kind of thing. Yeah, because lately people think to prevent the environment is very important. To protect the environment. Yes, mm -hmm. because we only have one earth. Yes, <laughs> of course. I think it's great. Thank you for letting me help you today. Thank you. I really had fun. I feel like, uh, well, I'm, I'm working hard. He, he does this every day. I know you're in much better shape than me. So thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good morning everybody, day number two here. And after such a great day in Sinshu at the farm yesterday, meeting that extremely friendly farmer, we decided to come here to Yunlin County to another farm and check out a couple more applications of the very, very amazing biodegradable agricultural film technology. And this farm has everything from bananas, dragon fruits, all kinds of amazing vegetable gardens. So I'm really excited to be here and check out another farm and hopefully get to meet another very friendly farmer today. Am I doing okay? Uh, very good. Honestly, I think that this machine was a lot easier than the, uh, the shovels that we were using yesterday to pull the film over the field. I think maybe if that other farmer has his birthday coming up soon, I'm gonna buy him one of these. So now I've actually seen the process a few times of us using the film to cover the fields. And I'm starting to get very curious about the next part of the process, which is actually turning it back into the soil to the point where it starts to naturally compost. Go and stop. A 
little bit scary, but it was it was easy enough once you get the hang of it. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing me how to use the tractor. That was actually a lot of fun. Uh, and this stuff, it just, as, as we mentioned before, it just kind of grinds right down into the soil. So I think my question is, uh, how long have you been using this material and how do you feel about its implementation into your farming practices? He let me know that this material acts like a plastic to control weeds and to help disperse water, but has the added benefit of being biodegradable, naturally breaking down into CO2 and water preventing them from having to burn toxic plastic sheets or pay for garbage disposal. This is important when transitioning into an eco-friendly farm. So obviously uh, there's a huge advantage to using this kind of technology in terms of the environment, but from an economic standpoint from your farm, I'm really, really wondering which method is cheaper, using the plastic, the old way, which I know requires a lot of human resources and garbage disposal fee, or using the new agricultural film? Uh, the new one. The new one? Yes. Oh, okay. Dagai Pian Yi Do Xiao. Dagai Pian Yi 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 Pian Thank you. Thank you. I had a wonderful couple of days exploring these two farms and especially I enjoyed meeting the younger generation of farmers who really seem to be taking advantage of these amazing new technologies which from what I can see have some really obvious environmental benefits but they also seem to be economically beneficial for the farms as well. So thank you everybody for watching this new video series of mine and join me in my next video as I head to the north of Taiwan to check out one of the most popular agricultural products in Taiwan which of course is tea. So thank you for watching everybody. I will see you very, very soon. Take care. For more information, please check out the AgTech website, which I'll link right down below.